So I just interviewed the chairman of our local Republican Party and the leading coordinator of our local Tea Party. Why they agreed to be interviewed by me, I have no idea. They're desperate for attention. I, I don't get it. Uh, but in editing my videos afterwards, you guys know how I edit my videos. I have, I let them say their crazy statement and then I'll add information afterwards. Like, you know, they'll deny global warming, then I'll show charts showing uh, hottest decade in recorded human history. Uh, they'll deny the existence of Obama's birth certificate and then I'll show the birth certificate. It's, uh, it's an editing in a form of adding information to add a counterpoint, letting them say their thing and then saying my thing. Uh, letting them spout crazy and then adding facts. Uh, in doing this, it hit me that there's really two different types of editing. There's the stuff that I try to do, and then there's dishonest editing, where you can actually change the meaning of what the people are saying. You can actually misinterpret, misinterpret their argument. Uh, that's dishonest editing. Uh, Here's an example of dishonest editing uh, I was able to pull from the interviews that I just had. Ma'am, if I may ask you, what scares you the most about Obama? Obama participates in tyranny because he wants to dictate and tell us what to do. He doesn't want us to vote. He wants, if, and if you listen to him, and, and I've tried really hard to listen to him, when the people, when the government fears the people, it's freedom. When the people fear the government, it's tyranny. And right now, we fear Obama's huge black person agenda. His huge black person agenda. Got it. Um, so how do you feel about black people in general, I, I should ask? I totally eliminate the freedom because I believe that black people belong to the state. Owned by the state? You say I, I don't I don't think they're owned by the state. Uh, that's 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 kind of racist. Uh, you you have some weird views against uh, black people, don't you? You you know that only one out of six black people can read the Constitution. I don't think that's a statement of fact. I don't think that's true. Uh, moving on, uh, uh, sir, chairman of the, our local party, uh, could you tell us something, something about yourself? And let's move away from her. I may have taken on more and more and more men in the size of this room here in the showers. Maybe we should have put me in a room with a whole bunch of cute men. You like to shower with men. That's that's your prerogative. It's kind of odd coming from the chairman of our local Republican Party, but whatever, whatever. Okay. Boy, you look cute, right? Uh huh. That's that makes me a little uncomfortable, to be to be honest. Hearing that. Maybe we should shower together. Is, is there a separation for a reason? Uh huh. Well, uh, whatever. Uh, I will take my leave of you now, sir. Uh, good day. Good day. You will take a shower between. I say good day, sir. Boy, you look cute. That was fun. That was fun. Uh, but I try not to do that unless it's really, really funny. Uh, now here's an example of the editing that I normally do where I actually let them say they're crazy and then add information to it. Honest editing. Here we go. Do you believe is Hannity Ludov's 
Limbaugh uh, said that it's a legitimate question, is the word that they kept using, as to whether or not Barack Obama was born in the United States. Absolutely, and it's, con it's constitutionally mandated. So yes, and how hard is it to show me his birth certificate? And I just think, I, I, I think it should be a state law that before you can run for office, as the President of the United States shows your birth certificate, and then we don't have this question anymore. There's a couple things wrong with what she's saying. First, state wouldn't have jurisdiction over this federal issue. That's in the Constitution, sorry. Second, there is already provision for what she's asking in the Constitution. So if these kids are going to make the Constitution the cornerstone of their argument, maybe they should learn the Constitution. So just show us the birth certificate. What's the big deal? The last deal? guy I asked uh, said uh, that he wasn't convinced. And I asked, he said the same thing. I asked him what would convince you. He said, show me the birth certificate. Show me the birth certificate. The list goes on to believe that uh, his citizenship should be questioned. Uh, Barack Obama. I don't think that could resolve. I don't think it could resolve. Not to my satisfaction. Yeah. What would resolve it for you? A uh, birth certificate. A birth certificate. But I think from this point on, and I think the press did not do their job in vetting the candidates. Now, Tea Partiers, I know he doesn't look like a lot of your friends, but Barack Obama is American. Uh, this has been released several times over already. Soak it in. It's proof of birth of our president in America. Now, these guys have said that they only watch Fox News, which is probably why they don't know that this has been all over the media, all over the internet. It's out. I'm sorry. He's American. It's a fact. Now, we can prove this with certification numbers and, like, the birth section of the newspaper. I know what you're saying. Hawaii ain't no goddamn state, but I'm sorry. It is. It is. It's an American state. So what do you suppose these guys will do when I present, say, the newspaper article right to them, right in their face? Undeniable, provable fact. Right to their face. Let's find out. I did find some neat things in here. Just searching around. Would you believe that those are uh, various examples of Obama's birth certificate? Or are they... And um, we have the uh, certification number, the... Uh, seal of authentic, uh, authenticity and picture of the whole thing. It's uh, taken uh, from, uh, by order, the governor of Hawaii, who is Republican. I don't know that what the, a quote, Hawaiian birth certificate looks like, whether that right. is one or not. If you ask anybody else to show you their birth certificate, does it look like that document? Um, or is, is that a document that was made for uh, a specific purpose? Like I said before, I don't know that at this point in time okay. that, that really matters. On a, shows on a, you think on a completely that, different that, side note. Fact, I think you probably got it here, the birth announcements in the newspaper in Hawaii. At this point, I could be winning over the GOP chairman but that could just be because he thinks I'm cute. So after um, seeing these, would you say that Obama is uh, possibly foreign-born? Uh, or possibly American-born? Possibly. I'll say the same thing, um, just show me a birth certificate. You, you, you asked me to show you a birth certificate, but I showed you the birth certificate. I showed, I showed you the birth certificate, and then you asked me, but show me the birth certificate. I showed you birth certificate, I showed you announcements, I showed you everything. But you say, show me birth certificate. And there you have it. My head actually did explode. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, hopefully now we see the difference between honest and dishonest editing. Uh, they're both very funny. Uh, the thing is, in watching my videos, you'll realize that I don't need to change the meaning of what they're saying to make them sound crazy. They can sound crazy fine on their own. I do like to add the extra information that contradicts every point they make. Um, now, if you'll excuse me, 
I have to go marry my dog and hamster. Come on. Look, look at the cute little guy. Come on, Sharp. Let's go get married. Let's go marry.